Hi guys, welcome back to another section of our course Spring Boot for Automation Testing. And this is section one of our Spring Boot for Automation Testing course. And in this section, we are actually gonna start working with creating the first Spring Boot project and working with the basics of Spring Boot, like different annotations and how Spring Boot dependency injection works and how we can work with this Spring Boot to use it within our automation testing with Selenium or rest assured in our upcoming section of this course. So this is basically like a building block section of our course, the bigger course, Spring Boot for automation testing. All right, let's get started. So the first step is we're gonna start creating the simple Spring Boot start project. So this start Spring Boot project or the start.spring.io website, if you go there, you will see a very neat Spring initializer as you can see over here. And this is the place where you can actually create your Spring application. And this place is where you'll choose which type of project that you're gonna be working with, whether it's a Maven or Gradle project or Kotlin or Groovy project, or which Spring Boot uh, version that you'll be using. And uh, you can specify the project metadata as well. And then you can choose all the different dependencies that you are looking for. So you can do everything from this page. So this is like a start of uh, spring where you can start working with, and this is where you're gonna be setting up your dependencies and stuff. And once the spring project is created, you'll also see there will be a spring boot application annotations, like add spring boot application, where there will be a class called spring start application, where it will have a main method. As you know, that main method is the starting point of any project or any program and over here it's the same thing because it's a java application but just that it's going to call the spring application dot run of spring application dot class comma args to start our spring application so this is going to be an initializer of our whole application so let's quickly see everything in action that we have discussed and see how the project is going to look like within our spring application so i'm going to open my safari browser and I'm gonna go all the way to the start.spring.io and this is the page which I was talking about. And over here, we are actually gonna start creating the Maven project of our Spring and we're gonna choose the 2.4.3 which is the default, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And on the group, we can just give com.ea and we can set the artifact something like a Spring section one or maybe spring basic. I'm going to leave all these things as it is and I'm just going to select the jar as the packaging and Java as 11, which is all good for me. And here is the dependencies which I was talking about. So once you hit this dependencies, you can see that within the spring, you have enormous amount of dependencies that you can actually work with. It can be a session spring, spring web, Lombok or Groovy templates or LDAP or JDBC API or even Hibernate. You can do everything on this particular Spring Boot if you want to add with. We probably don't require any of these dependencies because we're not going to be developing an application here. We're just going to use the framework for our automation testing. I'm just going to hit this generate so that it's going to generate a project for me. So it has generated a project and this is the Spring Boot basic.zip file. So I'm just going to open that up over here. So I'm just gonna copy the file and I'm gonna paste it on one of my folder. And I'm gonna open with the IntelliJ IDE. So I'm just gonna do an open and I'm gonna open the project, the Spring Basic, I'm gonna hit open. And this is gonna open the Spring Boot project for me. And you can see that it has created the uh, Spring uh, Basic project for us. And you can see that there is a source, there is a main, and there is a test for us. And within this main, we have a Java of Spring Basic application, as I was talking about. If you just open this, this is the Spring Boot application annotation, which I was talking about, which is holding the main method to start running the Spring Boot application. So this is where all the magics are gonna happen. And we have a Spring Basic application test, which is annotated with at Spring Boot test because it is a Spring Boot testing application and this has to be started as well. So basically all these annotations as you can see over here 
are all an interface which are just like a custom annotations created by the Spring Boot application to hold all these different annotations. I'll, we'll talk about all these things later in the course, but yes, this is what it is, as you can see over here. And now we are just going to start running a simple test and we'll see how it actually works. If I just don't do anything, if I just go to the Spring application, if I try running this particular application, you will see that it is gonna start running the application for us over here like a spring boot application and there is nothing that it has to display for us and it's just coming as blank over here but if i have a test over here let's say system.out.print hello friends and if i try running this particular test you'll see that the context is loading and then it displays the hello friends over here so this is how we can actually create our first spring boot test to start executing the spring boot applications so this is very very straightforward and very very simple way of creating the project uh, within the spring boot and then we will see how we can actually start migrating our code that we already have like this particular project where we have this code in the uh, main method. So we'll just copy paste some of the codes right from here and we'll see what difference does it makes if we try running with the Spring Boot of the same sort of code uh, over here, like without annotation and with Spring Boot annotations and we'll see how it actually works. So we'll be discussing all those details in our next lecture. But yes, this is how we can actually create our first Spring Boot application.